You're twice as sure with two great names, Frigidaire and General Motors. Frigidaire presents Herbert Marshall as the man called X. Whatever there is mystery, intrigue, romance, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find a man called X. You're twice as sure with two great names, Frigidaire and General Motors. For Frigidaire refrigerators are made only by Frigidaire, a division of General Motors. And it is this association of Frigidaire and General Motors, this association of experience with experience, of skill with skill, that makes Frigidaire America's favorite refrigerator. Remember this when you choose your new refrigerator. Remember that millions of Frigidaires in millions of American homes have established Frigidaire's reputation for complete dependability, for lasting satisfaction. Yes, you're twice as sure with two great names, Frigidaire and General Motors. For Frigidaire refrigerators are made only by Frigidaire, a division of General Motors. More Frigidaire refrigerators serve in more American homes than any other make. And now Frigidaire presents Herbert Marshall as Ken Thurston, the man called X. Now, there's the report from Cochin, China, Ken, on the latest accident at the Mekong River Dam. Another dynamite explosion, Chief? Right. Destroyed the new anchor block. Uh, what does John Dreyer have to say? He's pretty sick about it. The French government requests his services from the Bureau of Reclamation because of his terrific reputation as a hydroelectric engineer. Uh, and... Now Dreyer can't get to first base building that dam across the Mekong River because of accidents. Chief, I'd better shove off a coach in China. Well, there are American business interests in mineral deposits there, and hydroelectric power could make it a pretty productive area. More than that, Chief. With that dam built, a couple hundred thousand Anamite villagers won't be flooded out of their homes every year. They get a taste of decent living conditions for a change, of civilization. You're right, Ken. Let's see. The nearest town is Banom Bang. I'll have Miss Brooks get your passage in there. Yes, Miss Brooks. A cablegram for Mr. Thurston, sir, from Banom Bang. Banom Bang? Yes, sir. Uh, read it out to me, will you, please? Yes, sir. Have rooms ready for you at King Louis Hotel, Banom Bang. I'm making all arrangements for transportation to Mekong Dam. You see, Mr. Thurston, there I was in Shanghai attending my Uncle Ahmed's coming out party. His what? Coming out of the clink, you understand, when I read all about this Mekong Dam. So I stowed away. I mean, I, I caught a fast freighter and came here to Banambang. You didn't read anything about me coming here, Pagan? Oh, that. With this American engineer, John Dreyer, building the dam and plenty of United States money tied up in tin and copper and stuff, <laughs> where else would you go when there's a lot of accidents and big explosions? Yeah. And besides, I got a hot business deal for you. The only deal I'm interested in is transportation to the Mekong Dam. Oh, I got that too. Down there at the docks. Don't worry about it. But this business deal you're so excited about. Look, we sell insurance to the Anamite workers at the dam. We positively, absolutely guarantee they don't get knocked off by accidents or nothing. What happens if they do? We bury them. They can't lose. And I already paid off Hong Lin for plenty of protection. Hong Lin? Sure. Big shot with the natives takes care of the snakes. Religious stuff, you understand. Uh -huh. Anyway, anything he says goes. So I guess maybe you'd like to get on the basement, eh, Mr. Thurston? Or shall we say, uh, 500 smackers? Hang on, I'll put you to work at Bureau Scale. $20 a day and expenses. 
And your first job is getting satisfactory transportation. But, Mr. Thurston, I... I can assure huh? you, Mr. Thurston, the transportation shall be more than satisfactory. Well? My seaplane is moored at the dock. We can take off at any time you say. See, Mr. Thurston, I told you I arranged for everything. Yeah. You seem rather surprised, Mr. Thurston. Oh, pleased might be a better word, Mr... Betty Delacosta. Miss Delacosta. Oh, that perfume, quite rare, isn't it? And quite expensive. Yes. And your reasoning is quite correct, Mr. Thurston. My interest in flying you to the Mekong Dam is not financial. Of course not. This cookie's a big shot stockholder in the Hanoi Mining Company. They'll make a fortune when that dam is built. That's hardly the point. I'm going to marry Edward Kalender, the assistant engineer of the project, Mr. Thurston. And I don't like accidents, particularly when they happen around my fiancé. Oh, that's understandable. That's why I decided to fly up there with you. Perhaps together we might do something about them. Well, I suppose I should feel flattered, but uh, why me? Oh, I'm glad to know that modesty is one of the characteristics of the man called X. Nice going, Pagon. Uh, uh, a trip of the tongue, you understand? Oh, sure. Would you have any ideas as to where we might start working together, Miss Delacosta? According to rumor, the Anamite natives <laughs> think the dam is a desecration of their sacred river, the Mekong. And they'll stop at nothing to halt its construction. Yeah, but you don't believe that. I believe that back of every destructive deed, you'll find someone reaching for a dishonest dollar. That's a very definite opinion. Any candidates? You might find it interesting to check the financial condition of the man supposedly most concerned with the building of the dam. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll warm up the engines for takeoff. Hey, there's only one guy she could be talking about. That's right, Pagan. The guy was responsible for me being out here. The American engineer, John Dreyer. Mr. Dreyer in the construction office over there, Mr. Thurston. You're not coming in with us, Miss Delacosta? Oh, I'd rather not. It's been two weeks since I saw it was. I'm sure you understand. So if you don't mind... Oh, of course not. Boy, what a sweet pursuit, eh? And did you see how she goes for me? Oh, sure, Pagan. That's why she made a beeline for Edward Colender the minute we landed. Oh, probably just going to break the bad news to him. <laughs> Somebody's making with the guns, Mr. Rex. Yeah, in the construction office. Come on. Shoelaces is untied. I'll be right with you. Leave him, Mr. Thurston. Let go. Come on. Oh, you go. Let go. Let go. Okay, let's have that gun. That's better. Now, I suppose we all relax and talk things over. Who are you, mister? My name's Ken Thurston. You, Dryer? That's right. And my name, sir, is Charlie Dong Ray. What went on here, Dryer? This two faced crook was trying to get me to buy second grade building material for the dam. Wanted me to take a split of the graft. When I told him what he could do with that kind of a proposition, he pulled that gun on me. I'm afraid Mr. Dreyer is falsifying before his own gods. He asked me to supply inferior materials so we could share the profits. When I refused, he threatened me. I drew the gun in self-defense. Why, you dirty Hold lying... Hold Dreyer. We won't get anywhere that way. You are quite right, Mr. Thurston. But it might be well to remember that inferior materials may go into the building of a man as well as a dam. In Mr. Dreyer's case, that could mean disaster to my people. That is something I shall not allow to happen, Mr. Thurston, even though it may mean I must deal forcefully with you as well as Mr. Dreyer. Good day, gentlemen. She is, Thurston, the Mekong River, the baby we're going to tie down if we have no more accidents. What about those accidents, Dryer? You got a theory? I don't believe in theories, Thurston. I work on facts. That sounds like you have a few. I have. About the Anamites? About Ed Colenda, my assistant. Oh? He wanted the dam built a hundred miles farther downstream. Because he thought it was a better location. That's what he said, but 
I understand he has an interest in rice plantations down there. I see. If he could sell his land as a site for the dam... He'd make a fortune. <laughs> and ever since we started building here, he's been beefing about changing the site. Saying the Anamites here won't ever let us finish it. Which brings us right back to those accidents, huh? Uh, particularly the last one. The explosion. Colinda has charge of the dynamite stores in this job. Those enough facts for you? I think I might have a little talk with him. You'll find him in my tent. He's working on some reports in there tonight. I'm not certain that talk will be good enough, Mr. Thurston. Oh, well. Hello. Mamo. I thought I told you to stop hanging around here. Now get out before Wait I... Wait a minute, Dryer. Who's this girl? Her name's Mamo. Brought up in the mission at Bannum, but she's full of the same cockeyed superstition that all the others have. About the Mekong being a sacred river. I have river. never said that I believed in my people's superstitions, Mr. Dryer. I do, however, believe in their right to worship as they choose. I bring a message to you, Mr. Thurston, from Hong Lin. Hong Lin, that's the uh, snake man, isn't it? Yes, and he speaks for my people. They ask that this desecration of the sacred Mekong cease at once. Now, you're an educated girl, Memo. You don't believe that the construction of the dam means that? I believe that whatever brings happiness and contentment to my people is good for them. Whatever brings them sorrow is evil. But that's why this is so important to them. It'll bring electric power for their farms, lights for their homes, modern civilization. You've got to make them understand that. I am afraid those things are not enough, Mr. Thurston. Not enough? What the... What more do you want? My people's happiness, Mr. Dryer. What good is your modern civilization if it teaches them greed and destruction? Why give them electric lights to see by when all they will see is deceit and treachery? And you believe the dam is bringing all that to them, Memo? You are a wise man, Mr. Thurston. I think you may learn the truth of what I say from Edouard Colenda. Colenda? Meanwhile, remember that my people still believe that if the construction continues, the curse of the evil one, Shiva, will descend upon them. They will do everything possible to prevent that. Good night. Hmm. What do you make of that, Brian? Now, those threats aren't going to stop me from building that dam. Well, maybe not. But we ought to take the young lady's advice. Now, look here, Thurston. If you think I'm going to I quit... think we'd better have that talk with Glenda. There's my tent, Thurston. The one with the lamp lighted inside. Galinda's still in there. Yeah. Yeah, I see a shadow against the tent wall. Look at that. Supposed to be making out reports, and he falls asleep over the desk. He's not sleeping, there. What do you mean he's not sleeping? He... Good Lord. That spear. Driven through the tent wall into his back. Yeah. So that's what Mamo meant. Her people thought Galinda was responsible for the dam, and they killed him. No, Dryer. To anyone standing outside this tent, the shadow on the wall wasn't Colinda's. It was yours. Mine? Yeah. Somebody made a mistake. They killed the wrong man. Just a moment, we'll continue with Frigidaire's Man Called X, created by J. Richard Kennedy. This is Wendell Niles speaking. Think how you have to crowd things into the refrigerator you're using now, and then think of this. New Frigidaire refrigerators give you up to 50% more food storage space in the same kitchen space. Yes, Frigidaire's completely new design gives you a refrigerator that's far bigger on the inside. So no matter what the size of your kitchen or how large your family, now you can have that extra refrigerator room you need. You get a refrigerator that matches your needs exactly, too. Because Frigidaire offers you a wide variety of types and sizes, all with extra room for storing foods, all powered by the famous meter miser, simplest cold-making mechanism ever built. In addition, deluxe-type Frigidaire refrigerators, for example, give you such important features as a big, full-width super-freezer chest for frozen foods, a handy sliding basket drawer for eggs and small packages, special cooling system for keeping all foods at their best, and many others. Remember all the advantages that Frigidaire puts into the refrigerators it makes for you. 
And always remember, too, ask to see the name Frigidaire when you ask to see a new refrigerator. And now to continue with Frigidaire's Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall. The giant dam being built across the Mekong River in Cochin, China, will bring the blessings of power and light of modern civilization to the long-suffering and backward Anamite peoples. But the Anamites have been told that the dam is a desecration of their sacred river. And Edward Kalenda, assistant engineer, lies dead with a native spear buried in his back. Now it's the following morning in the construction office. Ken faces John Dreyer, the engineer in charge, and Betty Della Costa, the dead man's fiancé. You're sure you want to stay on here, Betty? I do not intend to leave, Mr. Thurston, until I learn who is responsible. I shall spend my entire fortune if necessary to bring him to justice. You don't have to, Miss Della Costa. The blueprint's clear. The Anamites are behind it. I wouldn't be too sure, Dryer. What effect is this going to have on the construction work? It'll make it plenty tough for me, if that's what you mean, but we can still go ahead. Matter of fact, we're going to pour the concrete for the new anchor block tonight. Good. Meanwhile, I'll pay a little visit to Hong Lin. Hong Lin? The snake man? That's right. How do you figure he fits into this picture? I'm going to learn if he's being paid off to stir up this trouble. If there's any Western gold mixed up with the curse of Shiva. Lynn's own personal island. Good. Let's get ashore. There's his hut, right up ahead there on the path. Yeah, I see it. Who else lives here with him, Pagan? Nobody. Just him and his snakes. Got them all locked up in cages. Boy, what a screwball. Him and that Charlie Dong Bay. Dong Bay? You know that guy who tried to bump off Dryer? One of his boys told me he visits with Hong Lin. Maybe they play chess or something. Uh-huh. Here's the hut. Nobody home, huh? Let's go in and make sure. Boy, it's blacker in here than in my Uncle Ahmed's soul. And your eyes will get used to it in a minute. You uh, smell anything? How can I smell anything when I can't even see? And I got snakes on my brain so much, I almost think there's a couple of crawling around. <laughs> Look up, Pico. Where's the door? Let me out of here. Let me out. Relax, you idiot. I got them. Two beautiful king cobras. Cobras? Oh. They're even worse than rattlesnakes. Boy, what a close shave accident. Accident? Look at those snake pens. Are they... Hey, somebody left them open. Yeah. Somebody expected us, Pagan. And left those snakes to welcome us. to the chief, Pagan. Use the commissioner shortwave station of Banam. Then bring the answers back to me at the dam. But maybe the snake men's still after us. Uh, you, you might need me to protect you. I don't think so. Look back at the island. At the island? What's to see there but those two vultures settling down on... Vultures? Mr. Rex. Yeah. I don't think we'll have to worry about the snake man any longer. So you're 
already knew that Hongling was dead, Dryer. That's right, Thurston. This native girl, Mamo, she brought us the news, Ken. How did you know about it, Mamo? The word has spread like a wildfire through the village, Mr. Thurston. It is proof to my people that the curse of Shiva has fallen. Nothing can stop them now from seeking the destruction of the dam. Except maybe the truth. That Hong Lin was paid to spread that story and was killed to stop him from telling me who paid him. It may be as you say, Mr. Thurston, but mere words cannot stop them maybe now. Maybe not. But if you'll take me to your village, I'd like to try. I have but one objective in life, Mr. Thurston, to see that my people are made happy. Yes, I shall take you to my village. You're a fool if you go, Thurston. He's right, Ken. When I think of what happened to it, what? I'll take my chances. Dryer, get that concrete poured. Once that anchor block is up and no curses fall, we'll have proof of the animites. We'll start pouring at midnight, Thurston. Good. All right, Nemo. Hello, Mr. Thurston. Boy, have I got news for you. You got those answers from the chief? Have I got answers? You know what those re- radio messages say? Listen to this Never mind, one. Pagan. I'll read them for myself. Mm-hmm. So that's it. All right, Mamo, pig off. Let's go. By the way, Dryer, the chief says you filed a petition in bankruptcy before coming out here. Yeah, that's right. I'm an engineer, not a businessman. I made a few bad investments. What's that got to do with you? Oh, nothing. Only I'd hate to see anything stop that concrete from being poured at midnight. Get it, Mr. X. We start out for the village, and then all of a sudden you send that Maymore ahead. And we come back here to the dam. What gives, anyway? That's what I came back to find out. Huh? Suppose I ask you to stop that concrete from being poured a few minutes from now. Could you do it? There will be a slight consideration involved? Naturally. Then it's a cinch. You see how they got the mixers way up on top there? And they're going to pour that cement down here into those giant mold things? I'll get a couple of sticks of dynamite from the powder house and put them at the bottom of the mold form. That'll do it fine. Wait for me, Mr. Thurston. I'll be right back. Don't bother, Pagan. Somebody else beat you to it. Huh? Look over there. Near the entrance to the mold forms. Near the... Mr. Rex. You see who that is? Yeah. Let's go over and pay our respects. Hello, Dongbei. Mr. Thurston. Kind of dangerous playing with dynamite, isn't it? Not if one knows how to handle it properly, Mr. Thurston. Millie takes a slight twist of the wrist. Oh, oh. Drop that knife, Dombey. Drop it. Oh, oh. Oh. Get it, Pagan. It's as good as God. Huh. You know, Mr. Rex, I knew all the time this no good was mixed up in this. Yeah. His shining words about his people got a little tarnished, Pagan. With gold. Sure. He got mad on Dryer because he wouldn't split the graft 50 50. He only tried that to frame Dryer and get him thrown off the project. What he really wanted was to sell some rice lands to the French government, a hundred miles downstream. But Dryer said Colanda owned those lands. No, Pagan. They belong to someone else. Yes, that is quite correct, Mr. Thurston. And in return for my freedom, I should be happy to disclose everything to you. You won't get any deal from me, Dongbei. But as proof of my good intention, I can give you the name of that person now. In return, I owe you. Mr. Rex! Where did those chops come from? From the entrance of the mole forms. Hello, Betty. Is that father coming over to join me, gentlemen? We shall join Charlie Dong Bay instead. Wouldn't think of it, Betty. You must be surprised to see me, Ken. Why should I be? Only you and Dryer knew I was going to Hong Lin's. One of you prepared that snake trap. And Dryer doesn't wear perfume. The scent was still in the hut? Yeah. You know, Betty, your window dressing was perfect. No one would suspect the rich, young Miss Della Costa with any ulterior motives. In what way do you think I had one? You went just a little too far. Talked just a little too much about your lack of financial interest, your fortune. There was only a phony about it. And the chief's radiogram told me where it was. Hey, that's right. It told all about the gambling she was doing on the stock market. All the dough she lost. You were losing control of your stock in the Hanoi Mining Company, Betty. I needed big money to recoup. Money you could get by setting that rice dam was a site for that dam. So you tried everything you knew to get it moved down there, even even to killing Dryer. Dryer? But it was Colander who got bumped That's off. a mistake, Pagan. The shadow on the wall fooled the killer. 
Which one of your stooges did it, Betty? Hong Lin or Dong Bei? It happened to be Dong Bei, Ken. Not that it matters. The knowledge will do you very little good now. Betty, better check with the commissioner from Benam before you pull that trigger. His men have this place surrounded. Sir, what is this, a trick? It is no trick, mademoiselle. I have warrants for your arrest on charges of sabotage and murder. You will please to surrender at once. Surrender? I don't think so, Commissioner. Sit down, Pagan. Monsieur Thurston, you are all right. Yeah, but never mind me. Get the girl. But she has run into the mold forms, monsieur. She will get away at the other end. No, Commissioner. No, she won't get away. Mr. Rex, that noise. They... Yeah. They... That's right, Pagan. They've started to pour the concrete. She's buried. Buried under all that concrete. Saw Mr. Thurston. Yes, Mamma. You heard? Everything. As did the council for my village. My people and I, we shall never be able to thank you enough. Don't try. When that dam gets built, I'll have thanks enough. You need worry no longer, Mr. Thurston. Good night, and may God bless you and your nation for what you have done for us. Mr. X. Huh? That girl's really still alive. Of course she is, Pagan. Mama was reared humbly in the heart of Asia. And Betty Della Costa among the advantages of a modern world. But one thought only of her people. The other only of herself. Which one was really civilized? Sometimes it makes you wonder. is presented each week with the best wishes of your Frigidaire dealer, who invites you to come in and learn about the famous line of Frigidaire electric appliances. Refrigerators, ranges, water heaters, home freezers, the new automatic washer, dryer, ironer, and many other Frigidaire refrigerating and air conditioning products for homes, farms, stores, offices, and factories. A Frigidaire automatic washer? That's what I want next, Mr. Niles. You'll like it as well as your Frigidaire refrigerator, and that's saying a lot. When you're at your Frigidaire dealers, ask to see the new Frigidaire automatic clothes dryer and electric ironer, too. And our Frigidaire star, Herbert Marshall. Many people in Europe and elsewhere are desperately in need of food and clothing. If you would like to help, send $10 to the relief organization CARE. And a well-chosen package of food or clothing will be delivered in your name to some needy family in the country of your choice. That's CARE, spelled C-A-R-E, and the address is simply New York City. Thanks for being with us. Next week, The Girl Who Didn't Remember, a most unusual story filled with mystery and suspense about a $15 million theft and a secret locked in the mind of... Oh, but why not listen to it and hear for yourself? As usual, Leon Belasco will be along as Pagan Zelschmidt. So join us, won't you, when next I return... As the man called X, good night. Frigidaire's Man Called X is directed by D. Engelbach, with music composed and conducted by Johnny Green. Tonight's story was written by Sidney Marshall and Maurice Zim. So until next week, same time, same station, this is Wendell Niles speaking for Frigidaire. Made only by General Motors. All characters and incidents used on this program are fictitious. And any resemblance to actual persons or incidents is purely coincidental. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.